Welcome to the 13th tutorial on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at web colors. And so this is a very important subject, adding color to your website. Now there are three primary ways to add colors. The first is to use the 16 primary colors. The second way is to use RGB values. And the third way is to use hex codes. But first, let's talk about the 16 primary colors. And we've been using those, right, for our text. We made some of our text blue, we made some of our text purple, and the nice thing about these is you can just call them by name and you get exactly what you would expect to get. And so let's go ahead and use a primary color again, and I'll introduce a new property too as well, and that is background hyphen color. And if you put that in the body section, that will actually give us a background color for our entire web page. So let's do that. And let's pick uh, lime. So we'll pick one of the primary colors, lime. And again, uh, we always close it with a semicolon. Let's save our style sheet. Let's open up our page. And there you can see we've got lime as a background now. So let's close this out. And so that's pretty self-explanatory how to use the primary colors. Now let's take a look at RGB values. Now RGB values are always a mix between red, green, and blue. Those are the three primary colors. And all other colors in the spectrum are a mixture of those three colors. So in order to get yellow, there's a mix of green and there's a mix of red. In order to get pink, it's a mixture between red and blue. But these are just the basic combinations. Now, if I added a lot more red than blue, you would get another color here. And so that's where you use the RGB values. And so let's go ahead and use that in our CSS code now. And so let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Paint or any paint application that you have. They all will give you your RGB values. And then let's hit uh, Edit Colors. And let's go to, uh, let's just find a custom color here and we'll drag this uh, over here to this uh, pink and then we'll move this slide bar up here and these are the RGB values right here we've got 240 for red these are numeric values we've got 28 for green and 235 for blue and of course that corresponds to over here to these mixtures in between here that would be this is a mixture that we're gonna get so we're gonna get some sort of pink but you can see we've got mostly red uh, less green and a little bit less uh, blue so that's the mixture. So let's go back to our CSS code, and I'm just gonna copy and paste this into here. So you specify RGB, and then here are the three values. The first value that goes in here is the red value, the second is for green, and the third is for blue. So let's go ahead and add those now. So we had 240 for red, and was it 28 for green? and 235 for blue. And let's go ahead and save this. And you can see we've got our pink background. So what this does, using the RGB value system, you get access to millions of colors. And so that's gonna give you a lot more um, flexibility in terms of the color combinations than just the 16 primary colors final way is to use hex code and that's actually what I prefer to use the hex codes rather than the RGB they kind of do the same thing they give you access to millions of colors I just think it's easier to use hex codes and actually I have an extra semicolon there for some reason okay okay let's close that out now how do you get a hexacode well one of the things you can do and we're not going to and you can do this yourself you can go out to Google and take these values and there are converters out there that will convert it to the hexacode and then you get the hexacode. So all we do is put in the pound sign and then this is one I just remember because I've used it before on my websites and I really like it. Fox Fox CF 79. And let's go ahead and save this and let's open this up. And there you can see I've actually used this color on my websites many times and I really like it as a background color. So let's actually keep that as our background color for our web page. But again, this represents uh, an RGB value that, was, that I had converted into hex code. And you see how much easier it is to put this uh, hex code here? It's a lot easier. Now what I recommend you do is this is how I do it to remember these hex codes if, because let's say you find a you know a color out of the 16 million colors that are out there or whatever and you forget it well good luck trying to find that again so what you want to do is write these down and actually what I do is I usually paste the color 
in Windows Paint and then right below it I'll actually put this in text right below it and so then that way I can remember that color that specific color that I wanted that specific hex code okay that is gonna do it for web colors I will see you guys in the next video